In this presentation, we'll be solving for current and voltage in a series RC circuit. At this particular time, we have solved for capacitive reactants and use that value combined with the resistance and solve for impedance. And now that we have the total opposition of current flow in the series circuit, we can use that value and solve for total current. So applying Ohm's law cover up what it is that we need. I total is E total divided by Z, which is the total opposition of current flow in the circuit. Source voltage of 120 volts dot divided by 71.44 ohms of impedance will give us a total current flow of 1.68 amps of current and that will be the same current flow throughout the entire circuit as current is unchanging in a series circuit so we have 1.68 amps of current flow at the capacitor and at the resistor we can now take those values and calculate what the voltage drops would be at both the resistor and the capacitor. So once again applying Ohm's law, ER or the voltage drop on the resistor will be the current of 1.68 amps times the value of resistance of 50 ohms and that will give us a voltage drop on the resistor of 84 volts. And we can apply Ohm's law a second time to find the voltage drop on the capacitor EC. 1.68 amps of current flow times the value of capacitive reactants. Uh, 51.03 ohms of capacitive reactants and the voltage drop on the capacitor 85.73 volts dropped and we can place those values um, on the triangle and verify that they match the source to double check our math so on the adjacent side of the triangle, we have 84 volts that is dropped on the resistor, and we have 85.73 volts on the capacitor. And the source voltage of 120 volts, we can verify it. E total be equal to the square root of ER squared plus EC squared, just applying Pythagorean's theorem. So that'll be 84 squared plus 85.73 volts squared, and then the square root of the combination of those two comes out to be 120 volts. And we have built the voltage triangle for a series RC circuit.